Thank you, John Wells. Coming up next, we welcome John Ingle, sommelier at Prohibition Restaurant at 108 Ponsonby Road. John has been sorting through the wine cellar and has picked two excellent wines that win the hearts of many of the diners at Prohibition. On the table tonight, two beauties, one from Cooper's Creek and the other from Clevedon Hills. Welcome, John Engel. Hi, Gerard. Good to see you again. Lovely to be back. This has to be the, the best part of the show when we celebrate New Zealand winemaking. It's, it's just great now, isn't it, John? Two great examples of New Zealand yeah. wine here yeah. tonight to taste both yeah. of us. Now, before we go any further, John, let's explain to our viewers that you are a sommelier, and it's a French word for... Wine, wine waiter, you might say, wine, yes, or yes. You do all this at a beautiful restaurant in Ponsonby Road, 108, called Prohibition Restaurant. Just yes. a little bit about Prohibition, in case people haven't been watching the show. Yes, certainly. Uh, 18 months ago, uh, it started, Ponsonby Road. The theme takes you back approximately 80 or years to the 1930s. It's like uh, it was back in the uh, Chicago, New York uh, days of prohibition and uh, private clubs. What I love about it is the food's beautiful, number one. Their food's sumptuous. Uh, the decor, they have spent scrillions on decor. Well, I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Live jazz every live night. Live jazz. Yes. What a wonderful place to bring a partner for a special anniversary, a, an engagement. I mean, it's just your special restaurant. Isn't it, it? It, it just has that point of difference. Mm. Wonderful food, yeah. attention to detail everywhere. And uh, it, it took a lot of time uh, to get it right. There's no question, but uh, it's been going 18 months. We love it yeah. and uh, we, uh, we, we find people loving it when they're there. So let's the proceedings begin. Let's taste these two wonderful New Zealand Let's wines. do that, Gerard. Mm. Yes. All right. Obviously, the white is going to be Let's first. Let's start with white. Yep. Okay. Think... The uh, first wine tonight mm. is Cooper's Creek. Cooper's Creek. Now, who are Cooper's Creek? Cooper's Creek, long-standing mm. uh, winery out in Kumu. Mm. Uh, it's owned by Andrew uh, Hendry and his wife, Cindy. Yeah. Gr a winemaker who's been there, Simon Nunn's. Uh, been there ooh, since 98, a uh, good 12 years, Wow! Uh, and be making a very consistent product. Mm. The So7, uh, a gold medal at uh, the International, at the Air New Zealand Wine Award last mm. year, also a gold medal uh, in the Hawke's Bay Wine Tasting of Chardonnays, and also in Cuisine Magazine, uh, top 10 Chardonnays, five stars last year. You brought so, a beauty in. Yeah, this is, let, let's pour a little in <laughs> okay. the glass. Oh, isn't that superb? Beautiful smell. Oh. Mmm. Yes. What do you get there? Magic. Gerard, you're getting the uh, Hawke's Bay traditional grapefruit, mm. peaches. You're getting... They always talk about grass clippings, don't they? No, <laughs> not, 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 not out of Marlborough maybe, but not Hawke's Bay. Not Hawke's Bay. <laughs> and uh, mainly related to Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, no, out of this we're getting a... Uh, oh, it's just beautiful. A very strong aroma. Do we taste? Mm -hmm. All right, Joe, let us uh, have a taste of this yeah. splendid wine. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, that's so fresh with fruit, isn't it? Oh, I just want to drink it. Yeah. And keep it, drinking yeah. it. <laughs> that, uh, the, t that toasty oak. Oh, isn't it beautiful? And last, uh, last time I spoke to you, we were talking tannins. There's mm. no tannins really no, here at all. We're just no. talking fruit and beautiful balance with the mm. oak. High alcohol in this, mm. but it's about 14% alcohol. So that too mm. is with the fresh fruit, it's not evident. Mm. But the, that high alcohol keeps it really uh, clean, uh, and with the acidic overtone of the citrusy aspect, yeah. it's so fresh. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. Well, that's number one. I that, can't imagine our second wine beating that one, but um, well, oh, I'm partial to Pinot Noir. That's the next <laughs> one we're going to okay. look at. For our second wine, we're going to look at a Pinot Noir a Pinot. from Auckland. Yes. Uh, very little Pinot Noir, of course, Grosen. grown yeah. north of uh, Martinborough. Yeah. So here we are, way up in Auckland. Mm. Probably the most northernmost Pinot Noir made. 
where does it say the label? Oh, Clevedon. Clevedon. Clevedon Hills. Clevedon Hills. Oh, wow. That's where it's sourced. It's Leighton Smith's little baby up there on the hills. And we better explain who Leighton Smith is. Well, Leighton is our kind good name. <laughs> uh, he, he's our host uh, on One ZB. Yes. He's our uh, morning host, and about uh, ooh, about uh, eight years ago, he got interested in putting vines in. Now. Uh, his wine was made initially by his next door neighbour, Enzo Benito, who got him into this. Uh, Enzo owns Vinalto Winery. So he was advised uh, to plant about nine different varietals. He has now only three, mm -hmm. uh, which he makes a beautiful Shiraz, a Pinot Noir, and his uh, lovely Arnais. It's Arnais that he makes. This wine here, 07, uh, is again a wine that we pour uh, by the glass at Prohibition. Okay. It's uh, and have done since we started 18 mm. months ago. And what I like about this wine is I can stand it up against the wines that come out of the traditional areas mm. Martinborough, Marlborough. Mm. I'm talking Pinot Noir, yeah. Martinborough, Marlborough, who are famous for their Wipra, Pinot Noir. and uh, of course, mm. further south, central mm. Otago. And that's where uh, uh, one would expect. We would always go for all our Pinot Noir, although there's some very good Pinot Noir coming out of, mm. uh, out of Gisborne and actually Hawke's Bay. Mm. But um, this wine always, when we stand it up against other Pinot Noirs, is extremely palatable. Wow. It's, it, 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 it never, if, uh, we would always find ourselves emptying this glass more quickly, <laughs> than <any> invariably, <laughs> than those more notable Pinot Noirs. Noirs. Yeah. Let's find out why. Mm. Oh, that's nice, isn't You're it? getting strawberries? Mm. You're getting... Mm. Very brambly strawberry. Oh. And strong, strong on the nose. Let's do the big test. All right. He's done a magnificent job, hasn't he? Beautiful. Actually silky. Yes. Yeah. It's very soft. Yeah. Got, it's not lost its backbone at all, 07. This, this is a great year. Yeah. Um, I think that I'm excited by this, mm. just for the fact that it's made in Auckland. Mm. From, uh, it's sourced, the grapes are sourced from Clevedon Hills. Mm. But that is so, so silky. Yeah. To our viewers who have watched this, they have thought to themselves, I would love to have one of these two wines and I'd love to go to Prohibition Restaurant. A yes. simple question to ask our viewers, if they would like to come along to Prohibition Restaurant, yep. be looked after by John. We're going to make it so easy this week that we're going to ask who is the owner of Prohibition Restaurant oh, and we're actually going to give you the answer. Colin Gardner. Colin Gardner. From South Africa. From South Africa, it's on the screen. Mm -hmm. Go into the drawer and we'll let you know in one month's time when John is back on the show. And send it to Jared at the beat goes on .co Fantastic. And we're going to see you in one month's time with yes. some more wonderful wine. Look forward good. to it. Very good. Thanks, Lovely John. to be here. Okay. Thanks, John.